Hi everyone. So I want to start doing some videos on eating wildly cheap. You know, the things I do to provide food for my family that don't cost a lot of time or energy or money at all to provide food for my family. So this will be one part of several videos doing that. And my target today, and I had some success, are these. They're small, but they are what's called a rainbow smelt. I'm trying to get a good picture on the video. They are a bait fish. They're a school fish. They um, spawn in a lot of the brooks up here in northern Vermont during the early spring, but we can catch them in a lot of the lakes through the ice. I came out here to uh, Salem Pond in northern Vermont and spent... I don't know, maybe 10 minutes drilling holes trying to find where I could find smelt and then spent another 15 minutes catching a dozen of them and that was just for this project so I will piece in another little video just to show you um, what they look like so thank you here is my dozen rainbow smelt now they are you know small fish but I'll show you a way to turn this, a few of these, into a meal for the family. That actually won't be refused by my children. That's a hard thing when we're talking about wild foods. So, like I said, there's a dozen rainbow smelt that literally took me about 15 minutes to catch. Here's the pole and jig that I used to catch it. The pole cost me about $12. And the, the jig, which is called a Haley's, a perch colored Haley's, cost me, I think, 4 bucks. And, you know, I have yet to lose it. So, this is a great little food-getting rig. This is where I was fishing on Salem Pond in northern Vermont. So, you see the blue truck that's about dead center? Uh, just to the right of that is where I was fishing. I tried, I maybe drilled four or five holes around the area. I tried over by those trucks. I moved beyond to that cream colored shanty and then I came over when I finally got into them. I stayed there. It took me about 15 minutes to catch a dozen of them. Okay, so here are my dozen smelt in the kitchen. Now they aren't a very big fish, but I can give you a couple of quick lessons on how to turn them into a quick and easy meal. Like I said, this wasn't very long to catch. So this is a simplified process for one. You slice up the belly, you cut across the back of the head. This allows you to grab the head and pull almost all the guts out in one shot. Now it's not a huge thing to do one fish, but having a little system in place works great when you have 60 or 80 of these to do in a night. So I have a tendency to belly, head. Put it down. Belly, head, put it down. Belly, head. Belly, head. I'll clean these up and I'll show you the next step of the process. So I took the smell, I topped them with a little bit of salt, pepper, and then some corn flour. A little knock around to coat them. And that's what I'm looking for to be able to put in my fry later. So this is my fry later. And if you don't have a fry later, a cast iron pan would work just as well with enough oil to fry. These are those smelt. Lightly breaded in corn flour, salt and pepper. Straight up into the oil. And I'll let 
flip those fries and I'll let you know how they look in a second. <clears throat> so here is that plate of deep fried smelt. Now it's not a ton of food, but if you caught a few more of those, you could do that as the meat portion on your plate. Now, a few pan fried smelt with some rice and maybe a salad or a bit of uh, cooked greens would make a pretty good meal and make anyone happy. So, as a taste tester, I have my son Saul. Saul, how old are you? Saul. Yeah. Now, do you like pan fried smelt? No. Come on now. Can I get you to eat one of these, please? Just one of them. Just one. Is it hot? A little bit. Does it taste good? Don't throw them or hit. But that's good food, right? Good food I caught from Salem Pond this morning. So what's good for the goose is also good for the gander. These are the pan fried, I mean the deep fried smelt with a little bit of corn flour, salt and pepper. And they just are great like a fish stick. You, they're so small and so simple you eat them bones and all. And there like I said, coupled with some greens or something of that nature can make a very good meal and there's almost no cost. And that's the whole point. So thank you very much <coughs> for watching. Uh, more to follow.